Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm going to show you this push motor over here. It is a very old push motor of mine. Last video made about it was about four years ago. We'll put a link to that video in the description below. And the reason I'm making another video about it now is because it has to be dismantled because I need the large rotor in there. As you can see, it's a pretty large rotor with pretty large neodymium magnets. And the good thing I like about this boost motor is because I made the circuitry in there is a circuit with three speed first, second and third speed. I call this overdrive one. Uh, and I really do not remember how the circuit is wound in there or connected because when I built it I started with just a simple circuit from what I can see over here it is a I think it's a P channel or N channel MOSFET or a P channel can be one of them but the circuitry has been modified completely to get the three speed in here anyway I'm gonna start up my power supply I'm gonna round it around 20 volts we're gonna check the meters over here volt meter and meter switching it on I have here a DC to DC converter or a buck converter because um, four years ago I didn't have any uh, power supply with the variac and stuff like that I only had a uh, simple uh, output which was I think around 15 volts okay give a little spin going for first speed just below 1 amp you can hear it going also a little bit of back EMF coming out of the coils going for second speed you can hear the sound one more time no more back EMF it has three drive calls on each side we're pulling 18 volts at 400 milliamps going on for the third overdrive speed you can clearly hear it going now it's really picking up speed and the rotor as always is made as a flywheel so it has a lot of momentum once it is up to speed this wire over here are for the hall sensor which is over there this uh, wooden wheel over here is a timing wheel with uh, magnets on it and now it is up to speed we are pulling 18 volts at uh, 200 milliamps eh, not bad one more time from this side a whole lot of wires under there also I will have to open this because I'm gonna dismantle it anyway and draw up the circuit because I really do not remember how I made that circuit it's a pretty nice one the thing is if I don't have that circuit and I should start the uh, post motor it will draw a lot of amps in the beginning put a lot of stress on the MOSFET and so on that's why I built it with three speeds here's a good view of it yeah title this mental that poppy nothing lasts forever sadly enough one more time the input 18 volts at 200 milliamps gonna stop it now switching everything off 
also the power supply it will keep spinning for a bloody long time that's for sure okie dokie hope you enjoyed it and as always thank you for watching